As per the Hinduism, the sanskar is a series of sacraments, sacrifices and the rituals that serve as a rites of passage and mark the various stages of the human life and to signify entry to a particular ashram. Sanskar gives a spiritual touch to the important events at a different stages of the Hindu life. Principles of sanskar system have been given in Vedas and detailed in subsequent scriptures, especially Griha Sutras. Sanskars act like a roadmap or a form of guidance, drawing attention to the particular period of a development right from pre-birth to a post-death. Without sanskar, man becomes without any control, self-discipline and imbalance in his life. Sanskars are a great time-tested tools in our traditional systems that help carve out a great personality. Apart from scriptural validation, history also proved to us the great effectiveness of these methods. Manasruti says, Janmana jayate sudraha sanskarat dvij uchiyate. Although the base of the sanskar system are the Vedas, particularly the Yajur Veda, a lot of mantra recited in the sanskar ceremony done today come from a various subsequent texts. Main are Griha Sutras, mainly the Gobil, Aswalayan, and the Paraska Griha Sutra. There are 16 sanskar written in the scriptures. The 16 sanskars of Hindus which cover the entire lifespan of a person and take him to the doorstep to truth. Garbhadhan All souls recognize this is as the first sanskar. This sanskar is performed for a fulfillment of one's parental obligation and a continuation of the human race. This is a fervent prayer for the impregnation of the fetus with the life-giving soul force. Garbha means womb and the dhana means give or donate. This sanskar is performed after marriage and before the conception of a child. When a student completes his studies and leaves the ashram of his guru, his guru explained to him the dharma of Rihastha, the duty of married life. Praja tantum ma vyavachetsi Have the best children and continue the succession of the family. In this sanskar, the couple chants Vedic mantras for a healthy, loving and happy married life and the wish for a son or a daughter that would bring new joy in the home. Pumshwana The second sanskar ceremony is performed during the third month of pregnancy when the first sign of conception are seen. In Paraskar Griha Sutra, it is stated, Atha Pumshwana Pura Spandat Iti Mase Dvitiya Tritiyava this Pumswan sanskar is performed with the view that a healthy and bright child may be born. Simanto Nayana This sanskar is performed during the 4th, 6th and 8th month of the pregnancy and prayers are offered for the healthy physically and mentally growth of the child. The other importance of this sanskar is to free from worries since the last 3 months are very difficult for a pregnant woman, both physically and mentally. A puja is performed for a purification of the atmosphere and as an offering to God for a peace of mother and infant, for giving birth to a peaceful child. This rites is a primarily social and the festival in the nature, intended to keep the pregnant woman in a good spirit. In Ashwalayan Griha Sutra, it is stated to perform the ritual of this sanskar in the fourth month, Chatut Garbha Mase Simanto Nayana. During the performance of the sanskar, prayer is performed to the deities in this sanskar while praying to the god for the health of his child. Jatakarma Jatakarma performed on a six days from the birth of a child is for the purification of the house. This is done in order to keep a child in a clean atmosphere where he may not incur any physical or mental problems. It is also called Shashti. Goddess Shashti is the protector of the children. The father blessed the child with these words, Ashma Bhava, Parshur Bhava, Hidanyas Nutam Bhava. You may become strong like a stone, brave against the enemies like the great sage Parshuram, and you may remain pious forever like the gold. Naam Karan Naam literally means name and the Karan means to make. Thus, in this sanskar, the child given a name. The sanskar is performed on the 10th, 12th and 11th day with the recitation of mantras. The baby child get name on a completion of the sanskar. According to the 27 nakshatra and the position of the moon at the time of the child birth, an appropriate name is given to the child according to the planetary position of the birth time and the first letter of the name is taken from the horast.
The person who performed this namkaran sanskar uttered the name of the child in his ears. Even Janmang Chakra is also sung. At the time namkaran sanskar Brahmin performed the sankal and Acharya blessed the child. Nishkarmana the fourth month after the birth of the child the nishkarmana sanskar is performed here the child is taken outside the home for the first time to be exposed to different elements of nature like the sun moon earth rain or a panch mahabhut this is supposed to enhance the age and a physical and mental development of the child the opinion of nishkarmana is that to come out annaprashan Anna means food and aprasan means eating or a feeding. This sanskar is performed in the 6 months when the child is given solid food for the first time. Mantras recited and oblation are offered to the various deities. Sweet porridge or rice pudding can be given to the child if parents are desirous of nourishment. Holy luster, swiftness or splendor, one of them with curd, honey and ghee is given it to the child while they are sitting prasad mantras. Mundan, the sanskar is the first time cutting hair. The ceremony is to be performed on an auspicious day after the age of 1 year. This ceremony is performed for the development of power, better understanding and for long life. The hair must be disposed of at a holy place. Karnaved The sanskar is performed in the third or fifth year. Praising of the earth with a commencement of a surya puja. Prayers are offered to the almighty for the physical well-being of the child. Upanyan Upanyan or the thread ceremony is performed any time between the age of 5 to 8 year old. Up means approaching towards and nayanam means leading. In this sanskar the child is given the yagyapuri which is made from three strands representing the three letter of om the three strands also symbolize the three disciplines of life which are knowledge action and the devotion the sanskar is the second birth for a child a spiritual birth The child is thereafter authorized to perform all rituals. Studies of Vedas begin with his guru. The ceremony has six parts: puja, havan, siksha, piksha, diksha, and the blessings. After performing this sanskar, the mother of the Vedas, the goddess Gayatri, is pleased. Even modern science believes that the Gayatri mantra is most powerful mantra. Yagya pavitam param pavitram. Yagya pavit, which is also known as Janul. is considered to be a very precious the first ever janai was created by prajapati vedaram the sanskar is done immediately after the yagnopavit or upanyan sanskar now the child become a student the child will now gain knowledge from the vedas and other religious texts as well as the other branches include mathematics and science thus the child will be able to progress in his life spiritually as well as materially Samvartana Samvartana is a ceremony associated with the end of formal education when he completes his education about religion and the law of life his first ashram brahmacharya is complete the teacher instruct the student who have completed the study of the vedas he instruct them satyam vad dharma charam swadhyayan ma pramad speak the truth abide by your dharma never be idle in your studies He is now eligible to enter into the householder stage and considered a qualified man to get married. Viva The sanskar is an entry into the second ashram. Vedic Hindu marriage is viewed as a sacrament which is a lifelong commitment of one wife and one husband. It is the strongest bond between a man and a woman which takes place in the presence of their parents, relatives and friends. The bride and a groom Walk around Agni hand in hand the bride sacrifice grain in the fire and chant mantra in our scripture there are reference to eight types of viva vanaprastha the ceremony is performed at the age of 50 in some cases at the age of 60 with the commencement of his ceremony a man completes his grihastha dharma and enters into vanaprastha ashram A man withdraw himself from all worldly activities, retire into the forest, and prepare himself for taking sannyas. This is the life of a vanprastha. Sannyas, 
Before leaving the body, a Hindu shed all sense of responsibility and relationship to awake and revel in the timeless truth. A sannyasi renounces the world and leads a life of a study and meditation by living on alms. Antyasti The antyasti is the last sanskar performed when the individual dies. After death, the sanskar is performed when the body is cremated. As the atma is immortal, it cannot be destroyed, but the body which is made of clay, water, fire, earth and the air once again return to these elements sometimes referred to as an antim sanskar are the rituals associated with the funeral when the death is imminent a small piece of gold tulsi leaf and the drop of ganga water is put in the mouth of the person on the deathbed the body is laid on the ground with the head towards the north the oldest son generally performs the last rites before which he takes a purificatory bath amidst the chanting of mantras the dead body is washed perfumed and wrapped in new white clothes and decked with flowers on the death of a person his family members and relative cry over his death but then there is a no use of such crying because it creates only misery and mental agony so these are the 16 sanskar of a hindu life